Good morning everyone. I am Shriya studying in RV College of Engineering. Here today is to um, discuss my presentation about wearable electronics. These are the contents involved in my presentation which includes the introduction, the literature survey, the research gap, the problem statement and its block diagram and the design methodology and then the uh, small delta x implements which, which I found out in the whole project and then the, its real time application and then the uh, references. Introduction the world requires a source of energy which is less depend upon, dependable upon batteries, which is handy, lightweight and can be used at anywhere at any point of time. Warp, which is being the basic of life, harvesting energy from it would satisfy all the conditions required. Henceforth, it's the best method to obtain energy from the user's environment. On an average, uh, you know, 67 watts of power can be generated with only uh, two steps per second at an average speed. So why not uh, why not utilize the energy which is being generated from work? And that's why smart shoe is being invented, which generates energy from the user user's own foot. Abstract includes what is being included in the whole presentation right now, and it involves the development of a shoe which can be continuous and which provides a uh, real-time monitoring of gait. Gait is nothing but change in the speed of walk. And it involves what all uh, the shoe does, uh, in, I mean, what all the shoe's uh, description has been described here. Uh, and uh, this is what is included in the abstract. And the literature survey, that is the information from where the, um, uh, the information has been taken from. And I've taken my information from these three uh, IEEE and Spinger papers. And then the, um, these are the names of the papers which have been taken from. And then the detection methodology here includes the discussion of the smart shoe, which is based on, uh, only upon the piezoelectric material. And that's why the literature same, I mean the detection methodology for all the three papers remains the same. Advantages are the ones which have been discussed very well in the paper uh, and the disadvantages being which you feel they have been missed in the paper or there are no proper discussions about the topic and that is what is being um, discussed in the advantages and the disadvantages column here. Um, and then this is the research gap, research gap uh, which I feel the uh, there must be some improvement in the smart train which have not been discussed in any of the papers from which I have taken the information from. And the first being the research gap is that, the uh, I mean, you know, to enhance the aesthetic properties of the product. Uh, to that is increase the overall uh, properties of the smart shoe and then I also found out the uh, improvement I mean the, the research gap to be to make it waterproof as it is not being uh, included in any of the uh, three papers which I have which I've referred and then it also uh, one more research gap I feel it to make it provide available uh, for all the age groups like supposingly uh, for even the small kids and the elderly like there's an instance wherein a person is walking in a dark which, uh, who is an old uh, old aged one and he needs a uh, you know torch or an emergency suddenly to see his way back so why not use a why not use a smart shoe uh, which can generate energy uh, electrical energy and that en electrical energy can be converted into light and which can be used in day to day life and it goes a long way in helping people like that uh, and then uh, the third one being to generate qualitative uh, sufficient uh, electrical energy that can be used in day to day life and the fourth one being to make the smart shoe work even in extreme conditions like the snow uh, or the rain or uh, any rudged uh, waterish kind of environment or anything of that sort and these are the research gaps which I found out. Um, the problem statement is the uh, smart shoe uh, using the piezoelectric material production of energy by the deformation of the piezoelectric material or the human food uh, which can be converted into uh, electrical energy to charge phones or which can act as a power bank and uh, this includes the you know block diagram wherein the block diagram includes the uh, piezoelectric material which is the basic of all the uh, apparatus and then it also includes the uh, diodes which act as rectifiers it also has a capacitor it also has a uh, switch and which is connected to the device basically it starts from the piezoelectric material upon deformation it produces free electrons which are made to pass through the diodes according to the uh, according to the voltage that is if the voltage is 
uh, more or less than the set value uh, it um, accordingly allows the flow of charges and stops the flow of charges that is what the diode does and then we are also connected to the capacitor where these charges have been stored and again the capacitor in turn is connected to the switch uh, which uh, lets the flow of electrons uh, to flow through to the device and then uh, the switch is in, in, uh, again connected to the device through which the energy can be harvested or can be used in day to day life design methodology that is how the smart shoe has been designed for the smart to, uh, smart shoe to be designed there are certain requirements and these requirements are being uh, mentioned here which includes to attach the smart shoe system into the uh, into the user's own foot that is his own shoes and then there should be no effect to change in gait that is if there is any walking speed change in walking speed the energy um, produced should not uh, fluctuate that is what it means and then uh, the uh, smart shoe also has a design methodology wherein the motion of both the feet has to be characterized and converted into real time data and then um, the fourth one is the is to it has to communicate and transmit the data wirelessly without the presence of any wires which have been which can be visible in the outside world and then to provide kinematic validated kinematic data and analysis in real time that is the data which is being produced should be processed in uh, real time that is without any delays and that is what it means if we consider as this as the soul of a smart shoe uh, here i represent how the resistors and the uh, sensors are being placed the insole contains four FSRs. They are the four sensitive resistors, which are being placed in the left, uh, in the right corner, in the left corner, and in the bottom place of the shoe here, and the here. FSRs are the ones which change uh, in uh, change accordingly due to change in force applied on them. And the major piezoelectric material PVDF, that is the polyvinyl fluoride, which is being placed on the top of the shoe, on the top of the sole. Uh, it is the one which is the major component of the smart shoe, and uh, due to which, um, due to the change in deformation, it produces free electrons. And there is one more bend sensitive resistor which is being uh, placed to the sole of the shoe over its whole length, um, and it provides bidirectional bidirectional bend which is uh, the change in the shape of the uh, resistor in any shape in any size and in any coordinate and this is the representation on how the um, resistors and the sensors are being placed and this gives us gives the detailed uh, demonstration and it majorly consists of a circuit board uh, which are which has microcontrollers and wireless trans receivers and there uh, and there is an axis uh, and there is an each axis of gyroscopes and accelerometer what is a gyroscope a gyroscope is a one which uh, you know shows change in all the three direction even there is a small change in uh, air pressure that is it changes according it changes in all the three axis that is the x y and the z axis and then the accelerometer is the one which uh, provides change in the acceleration that is the change in the sp walking speed or the acceleration of the human foot and the last one which is the uh, capacitor sensing and the sonar the which is being measure, which measures the distance uh, to the ground from the foot and the sonar is also placed and this sonar um, helps in measure, measuring the distance and the angle between the foot or uh, the shoes on how it is being placed uh, at what angle it is being inclined and such things are controlled by the sonar, sonar. And these three and uh, are being stocked in a uh, are placed in a stocked configuration and with a power supply of nine volts, which is shown in the picture here, uh, wherein all the three are stacked together and which weighs around two hundred grams are being placed into the smart shoe, uh, which uh, does all the requirements and the um, things that has to be done. Methodology that is how the smart shoe works. Um, basically, when an external mechanical force strains the piezoelectric material, the polarized unit cells shift and align in themselves on irregular patterns on, in the crystal lattice. Then, the discrete dipoles, that is the opposite faces, affect and accumulate and develop an electrostatic potential between the opposite faces of the element. The relationship between the force applied and the subsequent response depends majorly on the structures, dimensions and geometry that is the dimension of the foot or the shoes and then the materials, piezoelectric material also comes into account when the response is to be recorded. 
and uh, this is the methodolo methodology and how this marshu work that is the, how the piezoelectric material gets strains and then how the, uh, the surfaces and the uh, three axes of the gyroscopes and the accelerometer change accordingly and then how the electricity or the electrical energy is being produced in the piezoelectric material and how the energies uh, how the electrons align themselves and everything is being discussed here which is um, and the last one which is being the uh, ac output which is being uh, given into the device and that is what is being discussed here and this is the representation on how the piezoelectric material gets strains um, and then how each of the a portion of it uh, reacts to the change in the uh, force applied on them or the change in gate that is in the overall and as mentioned um, um, before uh, accelerometer and gyroscopes are the one which in uh, which indicate even uh, a change in all the three axes even with a small air pressure and this is how the signals are accordingly generated due to change in um, um, you know a change in the gate or change in the foot um, uh, position and all the three axes are integrated and the according output is being given to the device and this includes how each of the axes have been changing um, and this is on various shoes wherein the smart shoe has been uh, developed it is not only the shoes it is also developed on the um, you know football shoes or maybe it an ordinary shoes and uh, it has to be uh, um, applied on uh, every other uh, kind of footwear available so that more energy can be harvested from it uh, real time applications there are many real time applications wherein now i have been discussed only three major ones uh, that is the smart shoe can be reach the uh, can be used to read the heartbeat of a person and how much distance they have traveled and how many uh, calories they have burned and that is majorly used in the fitness field and then uh, the major one of its application is used as a power bank or a charger or an emergency um, energy provider and then it also includes uh, which is being new one in the market is that um, um, gps is being set into the smart shoe and then accordingly a location is set and once if there is any change in the route taken by a person uh, uh, to the destination then there's a led attached to it which which starts glowing and it also indicates that there is a change in the route taken um, and hence the person has to change his direction or route accordingly and this is known as lechal lechal which is being produced recently in the market and uh, the companies working for it are uh, Nike, Adidas and various other brands which have been working to make the uh, smart shoe even more better and better with the technologies available. And these are the references from which uh, the information put in the uh, presentation has been taken from. And I would like to uh, tell that the information which is being taken are only taken from the papers which have been uh, mentioned uh, above in the literature survey and nowhere else. And um, with saying this, I would like to end my presentation. Thank you.